Hello. In this video, I'll be showing you how to share your extensions on GitHub so that other Omniverse users can find, download, and use your extension. I'll be explaining this as if uh, you've never used github.com or Git, but I'll promise that it'll be really quick. So uh, here's my extension. Uh, first thing that you'll want to do is you will want to go to github.com make sure that you have an account and that you are logged in. Next step is you want to download Git and install it on your computer. The link for this will be in the description of this video. Once you have Git installed, you can go back to VS Code and now VS Code will have Git available for it to uh, work with, with GitHub. So here's my extension, it's ready. Uh, the code is ready. I have my README that I've filled in uh, the title and a short description. Uh, this is what's going to show in your GitHub repository. It's the first thing that users are going to see to learn about your extension. Then in the config, the extension.toml, I've filled in the metadata. And the default value for the README is a path to docs.readme.md. So I created a docs folder and I copied the readme from the root into here. This is the readme that's used by the extension manager to show more information about your extension when a user clicks on the extension in the extension manager. So for now it's fine to just copy and use the same thing, but you might want to change this if you want it styled differently or have different information for each. Now once the extension is all prepared for publishing, I can go to the source control tab and I can initialize the repository. It's going to use git to uh, find all the files and prepare them for, for committing. I'm going to add a message here and hold control and press enter to commit it. It's going to say that it wants to stage and commit everything in one step. I say yes for that. So now that created a local repository on my, on my machine and it's tracking all the files for this project. Now I need to push that up to github.com. So I'm going to click on this publish branch. If this is your first time connecting to GitHub through VS Code, you're going to want to do this step to allow uh, VS Code to connect to GitHub to your account and you need to authorize it and then return to Visual Studio Code. In this case, you might run into this error. It's trying to launch a new, another copy of code and uh, VS Code isn't gonna let you run a, another administrator copy. So you close that and the workaround for that is you go back to VS Code and it's still trying to do the sign-in process down here on the right. If you cancel that, it'll ask you, do you wanna try a different way of, of signing in. So you say yes. Now it goes back to the browser and says that it's done signing in. So now I'll just close those tabs and return to VS Code. And now at the top, you can see here that it's moving on to the next step, which is uh, naming your, your repository. It's using the project name here, but uh, you can change the name if you want. In this case, I'll just use the one that I have. And uh, you choose whether you want this to be public or private. I want people to find this, so I'm going to make this public. And here's the sample of where that's going to go. It's going to go to my account forward slash symbol microservice. So I click on that. And down here it's giving me a status that it's uploading. And it's all done. I can open that up now on GitHub. And here's my repository. All created and done. So now I want people to find this. So the way that we are doing this is if you tag, sorry, let me show you that again. In the about, there's a gear here. And if you click on that in topics, if you add the topic omniverse dash kit dash extension and save that, it's going to be added to the, to this specific topic. And now users are able to find this here with all the other extensions that are tagged with that topic. So that's how you can make that discoverable for other people and easy way for them to, f to, f to find your, your extension 
for people that are looking for them. One last thing that you can do is that in order for users to know that a an extension is ready for them to use, and also because we may leverage this in the future, it would be good to create a GitHub release. If you click on this branch drop down and switch over to the tags tab and click view all tags, it's going to bring you to this view here. And now you can say create a new release. Releases work off of tags, but uh, we we haven't created a tag yet. You'd usually do this through through Git uh, before you push it to to GitHub, but you can do this on the fly here. And I did it this way just to make it a little bit easier to show. So I'm going to name a tag here, and it's going to create it on publish for me. And the target master is fine. That's the branch that I pushed, and I'm going to call this release one. And this is my first release. Finally, I can click on publish release. And that's going to create this entry for me. It's going to take all of my code and zip it up so that you could take this snapshot of the code at any time. Even after, if, if I continue to work on this and release new versions, this one's always available. Uh, canonically. I've shown you how you can share your extensions to GitHub for other users to find and use, and I hope to see your extensions on GitHub soon.